So the assignment is to simulate problem 440 and the problem statement says to analyze figure problem 4.3 and this is the circuit on the screen. So what we need to do is open up some metrics, click on the icon, keep the command window open and what we're going to do is say file new schematic okay <clears throat> now we're going to draw the circuit on the right of the screen here we need to add two diodes click the diode button F5 to rotate we're going to place two of those on the schematic hit escape to cancel that you can click plus to zoom in or you can do the zoom box if you want to zoom in an area we're going to place the next component is a resistor click there um, hit escape the next component is going to be an output probe so we're going to place a connector which is a terminal and it by default will be called Vout, which is good enough. Now we need to order or, um, connect three power supplies plus one plus two minus five. Go ahead and click this button. Place one, two, three. Hit escape. Place the grounds for those supplies. Hit escape. Now we can wire them together. Left click once to where you're going from and two, and then right click, left click, left click, right click, left click, left click, right click, left click, left click, and then right click, left click, left click, right click, and one more time, left click, left click, right click. Everything's wired up. <clears throat> only thing needed is to change the supply voltages so you double click on the supply minus 5 volts double click on this one 2 volts double click on this one 1 volt <clears throat> now the circuit is built you can save it hit the save button here I'm going to do ELN 131 problem uh, 4.40 hit save now we have to set the simulation up to run that means you go to simulator choose analysis since we don't need a, an AC or a transient we don't need any sort of a waveform we can just do a DC operating point DCOP and hit run and after it says complete you can close that now we need to probe the signals on here to see what the voltages are the way we can do that is go to uh, probe or I'm sorry place bias annotation and you can say can show node voltage is control N or show pin current is control I so if you want to do node voltage you click here or you can also just say uh, control in hover over the wire and hit control in and you notice it says V out is 1.251 I'll show that one more time I hover over the voltage I want to know hit control in and if I hover here and hit that tells me 1 volts this tells me 2 volts so that is the solution to the problem so the output voltage is going to be 1.251 volts